Welcome back, cybersecurity professionals. My goal here today and every day and every past video that I've been doing and recording is to help individuals like yourself. My goal is to help you get further than where you are today. And how I'm going to do that? I believe I finally found my calling. There was a subscriber, a comment that came in and enlightened me made me think about something I have never thought about until recently. And all because of this individual, and of course I will, you know, thank, I thanked him personally, and I'm still going to reach out to you. And you see this video, you know who I'm talking about. I am going to help every one of you who is still looking for a position in cybersecurity as best as I can. I am working with a team that is assisting me right now and I'm going to be showing you in a little bit exactly what I have been doing for the last few days uh, ever since I've put up this 90-day challenge of mine to figure something out. And of course, my mind has spawned in many directions on how to uh, capitalize on the time that I have. 90 days is lengthy, but not that long where you can make millions of dollars unless it's possible. I think it's possible. Actually... I'm going to take all that back. I'm hoping I can make millions of dollars, but I'm just, you know, to be modest, I think one of my goals is to really give back to the community. I have been enjoying the engagement, the comments that are coming in, people reaching out to me. So I'm going to show you a couple of platforms that I've been doing, building, and trying to get some momentum so you guys can know and understand who I am and where I'm coming from. So first things first, let me show you guys what I have created. Now, this is nothing revolutionary. It's called CyberHack Scouts. Now, the name itself should be pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't understand it, just dive a little deeper. Connecting top cybersecurity talent with leading companies. I am going to the route of becoming a cybersecurity recruiter, scouter, whatever you want to call it. I am placing top talent into companies. I have been building a database of clients that I'm being reaching out to. I have been building out the top, you know, applications, AI applications that I will be utilizing. I'm still testing. I'm still going through the motions, but I'm trying to figure things out as we go. And of course, you know, my past videos, I have been last 2024, I have been through many many interviews. I have spoken to many, many recruiters. And one thing I've learned along the way of that, because I've done all that, is understanding where recruiters come from, who is bad, who is good, and who is eh, so-so, right? Who has helped me land interviews and who has just made me run around circles or ghost me. Those are the things that I'm trying to avoid Knowing my own experience and what I've been through, I'm trying to capitalize and take everything that I've learned positively and applying it to where I want to bring it and expose it to the individuals like yourself who's watching this video. Now, that is just a website that I have been building out. Of course, these pictures are not all real. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going through it. And you can actually join if you just if you put your legitimate email in here, I would get that information as well. And I could work with you. And if you really, really want, right? And of course, this is the about me, and you can, this is legitimately me. And you would know it's my site because it links right back to my YouTube channel. And of course, I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. Uh, we can always pop that open. But anyway. My point is, going forward, a lot of my videos are going to be catered towards this. And also, of course, you know, just the job market in general, and which I want to show you guys. But before we get there, like, I'm going to show you the heat map again, because right now, currently, job market states that the demand for cybersecurity is still pretty high. Now, I have spoken in past videos many times over that... Some of these organizations are looking for very unique unicorns. And of course, these unicorns sometimes exist, but it's really, really rare. So my goal is to convince these clients, customers, companies to really broaden their search and find someone who's willing, 
who's able to learn and adapt and to apply their skills, not someone to necessarily have all the skills, because if that's the case, then they'd be paying really, really top dollars for, which a lot of companies, as you know, myself and anyone else who's hiring has not been happening, especially now with the market being as low as it is. Now, national average, it says 74%. Now, that number is still a little high. That means 74%, and I had to look this up to understand what it actually means, is that the supply and demand ratio is that there's not enough supply for the demand of filling the cybersecurity role. So it only meets 74% of that. And the reason why is because companies are reluctant to hire anyone straight out of college, right? You have no experience. That's where I come in. I am trying to, not just anyone who has no experience, but even someone who has one year, two year, three years experience, I am trying to work with you to place you into these organizations and convince them that you have the talent and the ability to adapt and also a benefit for them. And of course, we know that, that all comes down to negotiation, my how well I can sell myself to these clients and convince them that you should hire this candidate. Right. And then I am trying. I will try. Not only will I try, I will do my best to place you into an organization and I will work with you as best as I can. I will work with you to go over your resume. I will work with you to do mock interviews. So that way we all all on the same page. And of course, when I say doing mock interviews, that's a process that takes time. And of course, I've been through that myself because I understand how difficult sometimes these interviews are. Sometimes they can ask really weird questions, like just to see how you think mentally. Sometimes they could ask really technical questions where you're like, I've never touched that before. How the hell do I answer? There's always a way to answer. And by saying things like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll just Google it. Like, that's not something you really want to say during an interview. But along the lines of, hey, if if I'm presented with a challenge, I will try my best and I will do my best to research it, figure it out, and on the fly, you know, do something about it. Like, that's the enthusiasm everyone wants to see. Not like, oh, I don't know. I've never done it before. And then, boom, that's the end of the interview. Like, they're not even going to consider you at all. So, in any way, in any case... There's a lot of positions that are still open. My goal, my job, and doing this, and why I'm doing this, is I want to fill this gap, all right? I am going into this very niche market of cybersecurity, recruiting, I don't know why my voice raised that high when I said that. I am going into this niche market of cybersecurity recruiting to place top talent, talent, experienced talent, special talent, in cybersecurity, maybe also, I, I, I should kind of include, incorporate more than just cybersecurity, IT, cloud professionals, AI engineers, AI security engineers, the works, right? The realm that I'm most familiar with, I feel like I would have an advantage of placing top talent because I would be able to source them correctly to place them in there or at least work with the company. Now, I also have a platform now on LinkedIn that I've been building. Now, some of you guys are aware of this because it's actually in the comment section below in my description or whatever it is. I have been building this communication. I have been getting a lot of messages on LinkedIn as well. And I'm just, I'm doing my best to put myself out there, market myself. So that way companies, when they come and visit, they know who CyberHack is. And when candidates like yourself, when you come to CyberHack, you know who exactly who I am because not only am I on LinkedIn, I'm on YouTube. And then, of course, I have the website to obviously redirect you back to YouTube to show you exactly how long I've been doing this, what I do, and where I'm going with all this. Okay? So I do post, uh, not too frequently, but I do post on uh, LinkedIn. I'm trying to build a community as well. Uh, Right now, I have about... 700 almost 700 695 connections i am building so don't be surprised if you're on linkedin and i come across you as a cybersecurity professional i will add you to my uh 
uh, you know, to my, my network, right? It's all about networking. And my other goal is not only connecting to the candidates, I will also be networking with companies as well. And this is one of the baby steps, one that I've been taking, and I've been focused for the last week, all my attention, all my time, all my effort has been going into this. Now, you may ask, or you may say, will I succeed? Only time can tell. I do not know if I will succeed, but my passion is here. This is what I want to do, and this is what I plan on doing. So stay tuned for more information as we move forward. If you want, please connect with me on LinkedIn or comment below, but make sure, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all this. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.